Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be going over my Webull portfolio in addition to my Robinhood portfolio. So before I get into the video, feel free to go into the comment section below and follow my Twitch page. I'm gonna be streaming video games, poker, maybe blackjack once that is finally available in my state. Now on to the video. So on Webull, I don't have too much money on my portfolio. I only have about $900. And this is just my riskier stocks. Now, as I mentioned before, I bought about 200 shares of Solo, which is an electric car company. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. So let's go over to Solo and see what it looks like here. And as you can see within the five day period, it's been going up and down. It had this very nice spike uh, at the very top here at about like $2.50. It dipped back down a little low, but now it's on the way up again, and which is why you are seeing on my portfolio that I'm currently in the positive of $92.39. Everything else in here, I've just been kind of experimenting with. I've seen several articles about some penny stocks that might be shooting up. So I decided to just purchase a couple shares, and I also have some shares of DraftKings on my Weibo portfolio. Again, this is just my fun portfolio. Just wanted to experiment a little bit on the back end and seeing if anything works for me. If you guys would like two free stocks on Webull, feel free to use my referral link in the comment section below. All right, so coming back to my Robinhood portfolio. Now I was camping for like the past week, which is why I was not publishing any videos, but I'm glad I was because during that time it was in this dip here, uh, which is why I did not have any time to react at all. So I pretty much just rode this whole dip while I was camping. It was not checking my portfolio at all because I didn't have any type of service. So it was actually a good thing that I was away for this particular week. But for the day, we are in the positive of 1.43% or $52. And overall, we are in the green for almost $200 at 5.48%. Now, what is my top earner so far? So my highest earner so far is Smith & Wesson. I'm sure you guys have heard of this brand. It is a firearm brand. Uh, they also do apparel and other things as well. But I was able to purchase about $700 worth of Smith & Wesson. And it's pulled in so far for me $135.87. And of course, I have the Microsoft, I have the Amazon, and DraftKings has taken a huge dip for me, unfortunately, at negative $53. And not much else going on with my portfolio at the moment. Uh, just trying to see where else I should be investing in because the stock market is still pretty much unpredictable with everything that's going on with the economy and with the virus and speaking of that forgive my hair um this is pretty much my hair the amount of time it's grown since the virus began i'm pretty sure i was about three like a couple weeks out to get my hair cut and then all of the places closed down so i'm actually going to be getting this taken care of today so last day of shaggy hair but yeah this is just my quick little update wanted to do let you guys know where I've been, in addition to give you an update on what's been happening with my Webull and Robinhood portfolios. Let me know if you guys are in the green for the week, or at least in the green for the day. It looks like aftermarket going down a little bit, but we'll see what happens tomorrow, and I'm going to be doing more research to see what stocks I'm going to be purchasing in the near future, and what to look out for. But ultimately, in the end, I'm not a financial advisor, just some random guy investing on the internet. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Feel free to check out my Twitch and my poker channel on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.